So this is remote. If somebody wanted to sit down at a you know kitchen table and send it completely away, yeah. you can do that. I'm just gonna hang it there because otherwise I'll forget the right. So I'm going to bring it back to you nice and slow. It's going to go in here all the time. Come closer. So that echo a little bit here. So as we bring it back, you yep, just want to get your feet in there. A little bit nice and slow. And then just kind of guide your knees into the knee supports here. Perfect. Okay. So now since all I'm going to do is just loosen these on both ends. These are going to go through here. And this is what's going to hold you up. Yeah. Put them through these toggles and then cinch up around you. Tighten Thin that through. And then I'm just going to start to tighten it back up a little bit. And then I'm going to have you lean forward just a little bit. And I'm going to put this additional back support up here. Now, as you stand up, your weight will shift, so you may want to tighten that up. It's just Velcro, so you can tighten it however you want. Yeah. So I'm going to tighten these a little bit more to where it's starting to kind of lift you up off the, off the bench. Now, when's the last time you stood? Um, Friday. Okay, good. So, when's the last time you moved around when standing? Um, April 1st, when I was walking around. Okay, good. So this is, if, if you feel like lightheaded or anything, let us know, we can lower you back down. Uh, some people have stood for years when they do this. So when you're ready, this, if you squeeze just this handle, it's gonna stand you up. So when you're ready, just squeeze that, and it's gonna start to lift you up. Now, if at any point you get uncomfortable or anything, you can stop, you can lower yourself back down. You can also adjust this a little bit to make it nice and tight. I don't want to make it so you can't breathe, but you can <laughs> snug that up a little right. bit. And same thing with this upper back support, just to give you kind of some additional trunk support. This is in demo mode, so it's, it's not going to be set up perfectly for your height, but it's kind of ballpark in the middle. Well, the knee rest. Um, and once you're in it, you're, you're in the full standing position. There's adjustable speeds, but I start you out slow. Um, and so you could increase it once you get comfortable with it, but it's a portion yeah, so of the So the harder you push, the faster it's gonna go within that speed control. So when you feel ready, you can go ahead and start to drive around. Yeah, that's one of the nice things too. Like you, you can build up to where you can stand for long periods of time. We have there's a surgeon in Missouri that has three of them. One at his house and one at each party. They all actually have a form surgery in it. Oh dang! Um, and then we've got like people that'll work like a full eight-hour shift. Yeah. Um, in the device. And if you you know, she said you work on cars. Yeah. So if you needed to lower yourself down, you can lower yourself down to reach stuff. And it's, yeah. It's so up. Makes it a whole lot easier. Exactly, yep. So this is the indoor mode, or this is the outdoor wheels in outdoor mode. The yeah. indoor is even narrower, it's 16 and a half inches wide. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you're in DC and they don't have ADA compliant buildings because they were built 300 years ago, <laughs> you can actually you can navigate. Like we did an expo in Boston and everybody's like, so I could have a door on my bathroom again because it's too narrow. And like, yeah, you can. You can. So, it's uh, it's something people don't think about, but yeah, with the indoor, it's 16 and a half inches wide. Yeah. yeah. 
Is it electrical indoor also or just outdoor? Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of they can pick okay. and choose. Okay. Yeah, the out, like from the surface, it looks pretty much the same yeah. with any of the different configurations. Um, but just the difference would be like the wheels and then like right right there, the gas springs versus okay. electric. Okay. Okay. Not noticeable to most folks you know, when they're in it. So, yeah, if you want to go check out the kitchen, you can. All right. Love the juices in this, that's fine too. But. Yeah, like, because one thing that I do at home is I can't reach the upper shelves, so my mom is just like, just leave them on the counter and I'll put them away. Yeah. Now my mom would be like, okay, hey, have fun doing them all now. <laughs> the good news is, though, she can't hide, like, cookies or anything that's up there, you know? So that's true. You can finally reach everything. And yeah. There's no off limits. I don't have to stretch to reach things on the top of the. Exactly. On the, the top other... of the pantry. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little different when you're backing up and you don't have mirrors or anything. Yeah. So let's make it easy. So once you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and squeeze just this side and that'll lower you back down. And again, with those Velcro straps, if you can't breathe, you can always loosen them. Yeah. There's a, a back behind you so you won't fall too far back. Okay, and then the next thing we'll do is just kind of lower these. That'll lower you down onto the bench. Yeah. Do some those, and then just send those out on the side. Now I'm gonna tighten it back up, just so I don't whack you in the knee with the the metal metal club. I've done it to myself, where I like hit myself in the kneecap. All right, now I'm just gonna drive forward, nice and slow, so you can get your feet up. And again, if, if you're used to this, you're doing it yourself, you can just use the remote. Yeah. Send me completely out of the way. <laughs> just park it and forget about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 